What's up, New Life Church? My name is Jade Moore, and today I have my daughter Harper with us, and she is gonna be reading the scripture that we're going over today in Galatians 6, verses 6 through 10. So read along with us or just listen in. But the one who is taught the word share all good things with the one who teaches. Do not de be deceived. God is not mocked for whatever he whatever one sows that will he also reap for the one who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption but the one who sows to the spirit will from the spirit reap eternal life and let us not grow weary of doing good for in due season we will reap if we um do not give up. So then, as we have opportunity, let us do good to everyone, and especially to those who are who are of the household of faith. Amen. High five, sis. Great job. So proud of you. I love this passage, and I love it specifically because it's talking about us giving. Not only is Paul referring to us giving to the church, because that is what we're called to do as believers, to give that 10% is the Lord's anyways, right? But he's also talking and referring to us about the time that we give, about the prayers that we give. There's so many aspects of giving that we have the opportunity to be a part of, and God is so good because he always sets us up to be a part of that opportunity. In verse 9, it, it kind of unfolds to me that we should not excuse ourselves from any part of our duty. So neither should we grow weary in doing it. How many of you grow weary in doing good, in doing what you are called to do? I know as a mama, I get tired. Do you get tired? Yeah. Okay, so we all get tired, but also I work in retail. In the world right now, it's hard. It's hard to be in the world. It's hard to continue to do good. It's hard to not grow weary in it. But the promise that we have is that there is a harvest that will be reaped because of us sowing those seeds. We will be able to hold on to the promise and the truth that Jesus said that the harvest is coming. That if we continue to make those choices, continue to have a mindset that is set on the cross, that is set on Jesus, that because of us not growing weary, we are going to reap that harvest. It's a promise. It's a promise for us to hold on to. It's a promise for us to speak into existence, to have faith, and to trust God that he will deliver us, that he will give and he will provide. It's a promise. It's a promise that we get to stand on to. And I love that it's us. We are all called to take part in this duty. It's not something that we pass on to the next person. It's not somebody that sits next to you in church or that has, shares a cubicle with you at work. It's for you. It's our responsibility. It's for us to not grow weary in doing good. And in verse 10 is God has made it our duty to do good to others. So he takes care in his providence to finish or to furnish us with opportunities for it. In Matthew, it talks about that the poor are all around us. They will always be with us. And whenever God gives us an opportunity of being useful to others, he expects that we should improve it according to our capacity and according to our ability. He's not going to put us in a place where we have to give and do so much that it's going to be out of what we can give or do for. It's out of our capacity and it's out of our, our, our ability because he is a good and gracious God and he's always going to deliver. You guys have a great rest of your day today. Thanks for joining in and we love you.